Pyrolysis has continued to make waves in the plastic world for years now, with thermal pyrolysis serving as a fundamental process. Pyrolysis is defined as the thermal breakdown of organic materials upon heat application without oxygen presence or under reduced air conditions. Generally, pyrolysis is a process with huge potential leading to the production of valuable petrochemical products sourced from waste plastics and or other organic materials. With this process, the reliability of petroleum slash crude oil for energy generation can be reduced and or altered. Additionally, with pyrolysis, the environmental challenges resulting from waste plastics can be addressed in an eco-friendly manner. Operating temperatures linked to thermal pyrolysis with waste plastics as feedstock can reach up to 627 degrees Celsius and beyond. High reaction temperatures, among other operating factors, pave the way to utilizing catalysts to cut down on high energy inputs and for product optimization, among other reasons. A catalyst can be any material that enhances a reaction rate without necessarily being used during the process. This video presents a look into catalysts and their applications, including the shortfalls of non-catalyst use, an extensive investigation into catalytic pyrolysis and a highlight of the common waste plastic pyrolytic products. The use of catalysts is dependent on a variety of parameters and operational conditions. The different parameters and conditions associated with the utilization of a catalyst include, but are not limited to cost, efficiency, and the difficulty of catalytic change. Among the core reasons for the utilization of catalysts is the reduction of the length of carbon chains in pyrolysis products, which allows a decrease in the boiling point of the products. With the boiling point being dependent on pressure, it can also be influenced by the presence of a catalyst. Though the boiling point of the product may decrease, it is worth noting that a catalyst does not impact the temperature of a reaction, nor does it have any effect on the relative stability of the reactants or products acquired. Research has pointed that activation energy is impacted, in that, the speed of the reaction rises, the catalyst remains unused or unchanged, and a decrease in the activation energy occurs. This means that the catalysts have the ability to lower the energy of transition states while increasing the stability of the reaction, thereby reducing the overall activation energy of the process. The catalytic deoxygenation of pyrolysis has proven effective in increasing oil yield. Without catalysts or catalysis, products such as fertilizers, refined crude oil, and plastics, among other products, may not be available. With the application of a catalyst in pyrolysis, optimal properties were attainable. The pyrolytic process is considered optimized in this sense, owing to the presence of the catalyst. As such, the application of catalysts increases in both lab-scale research and the traditional chemical industry. A range of catalysts applicable in catalytic pyrolysis also is being developed and used. The most used catalysts include solid acid catalysts such as zeolite, silico alumina, the fluid catalytic cracking catalyst, and bifunctional catalysts. Broadly, catalysts can be either heterogeneous or homogeneous. The industrial application of these two types of catalysts are inarguably dominant in their application at industry level. However, biocatalyst is another reputed type of catalyst. It has been established that the type of catalyst used in pyrolysis can influence the type of catalytic pyrolysis process. The use of heterogeneous catalysts in pyrolysis is a promising technique that facilitates an increase of desired products at reduced temperatures through impacting the activation energy of the reaction. These catalysts do not mix in their reaction with reactants nor with their products. This means the phase of the catalyst is not the same as that of the reactants or products, enhancing their recovery from the medium of interaction, thereby making such catalysts remain pivotal factors in chemical reactivity control. This is unlike the case for homogeneous catalysts. Generally, heterogeneous catalysts are solid compounds in a reaction mixture. This characteristic is key among other properties for their preference over homogeneous catalysts, especially for fuel oil and gas production in the chemical industry. This table summarizes a range of pyrolytic products that are attainable with the application of common heterogeneous catalysts on waste plastics. The significance of catalysts is shown for refined product yield in chemical industries. Some of the work shown in the table is related to equipment optimization. Process optimization and equipment optimization leads to product yield optimization.
Homogeneous catalysts are in the same phase, liquid or gas, with the reactants in the solution. A heterogeneous catalyst is described as a substance that can uniformly dissolve in a reaction mixture in a gaseous or liquid solution. Homogeneous catalysts are typically liquid or gas compounds whose end reaction process results in a single phase. The result is a uniform reaction mixture with no distinct reactant showing. The wide application of this catalyst is related to its textural properties such as large specific area, low density, high temperature resistance and porosity. Between 1993 and 2013, homogeneous catalysis experienced massive growth, with applicability to the polymerization, organic synthesis, and pharmaceutical industries. Recovering this kind of catalyst is typically complex or impossible because it is destroyed during the distillation process. There is no method of separation of the catalyst after the reaction. However, one big advantage of homogeneous catalysts is that they have significant contact with their reactants when the reaction is carried out. The role of the contact and or contact process is key to the production of sulfuric acid, for instance. In fact, it is one of the most extensively utilized methods for its production. Even though heterogeneous and homogeneous catalysts remain popular in the chemical industry, biocatalysts also have substantial importance in industrial processes. As the name implies, these catalysts are derived from biological materials such as living systems. These catalysts are used in the biotechnological industry, pharmaceutical and medical applications. Furthermore, they are applicable for the synthesis of drugs, biofuels, herbicides, cosmetics, food additives, and other substances. They are constituents of enzymes and cells. Hence, enzymatic catalyst is an alternative name for biocatalyst. Biocatalysts can facilitate the transformation of organic compounds. Other molecules are generated during these transformations of organic compounds in enzymatic reactions. Note that the enzymes used in the preparation of biocatalysts can also include immobilized enzymes. Thus, immobilization is pivotal in biocatalyst reactions. These immobilized enzymes can catalyze the production of good quality and unique chemicals, acclaimed for ease in product segregation and their property of being reused in consecutive processes. The role of catalysts in thermal pyrolysis and related catalysis is immensely valuable owing to those processes' deficiency. Catalyst application incorporates a range of parameters and conditions, including cost and efficiency. As discussed in detail in the early part of the video, catalysts optimize non-catalytic or thermal pyrolysis by reducing the length of carbon chains of the reactants for pyrolysis yields. This triggers a boiling point decrease of the products, thereby influencing the activation energy of the reaction. Catalysis is believed to urge thermal industrial plants like oil refineries to be situated near them for efficient product upgrades and environmental safety, with heterogeneous catalyst types being domineering over others to produce fuel oils.